Marcos here. Oh, my man Joe Ray just back from Thailand. He was there for this time for how long? Uh, four months. Four months, and the time before that? Uh, nine months. Nine months. Man spent over a year in Thailand training, uh, bringing back home nice Thai techniques and stuff. Uh, today, I'm, I'm going to show uh, a technique that I learned at the same camp as Joe Ray over in Thailand, and uh, this one I like a lot. Uh, I don't know the exact name for it. Joe, if you know it, you can call it out in the middle of the thing. And if someone watching it knows it, go ahead and email me. But I call it Thai armbar, all right? So this is how it's set up, okay? It can be done from the underhook position, where I have an underhook like this, okay? Now what happens is the person here doesn't have a strong wizard. So he's doing just like what Joe did, where he maybe has his hand on my back, okay? So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna bend my knees and get my shoulder underneath his armpit, like so, okay? And once I get my shoulder under his armpit, this hand's gonna reach over and grab the front of his forehead, okay? As I do that, my other hand's gonna come to the crown of the head. Don't grab the back, but the crown, okay? Now, I'm gonna step back with my leg here. As I step back, I'm gonna yank the head downwards and bring it down this way, okay? And you see my head, it stays up. This traps the arm here. If, common beginner mistake, is that as they step back, the head lowers and the arm swings out. Okay, from here, I come to here, I come there, I step back, my head up here, and this arm is trapped. Now the hand the head keeps the arm low, this hand the forehead keeps the other arm, I mean this hand the head keeps his head low, the other hand the forehead keeps his arm locked. And from here, I throw knees, bang, bang. You can also walk him to the fence here, push him up against it, and start throwing knees and short elbows, okay? Now, I'm gonna add like two or three techniques to this. We have a bundle of techniques this time. So now, if I get here and I get to this position, but I can't lower his head, he stays upright, and I can't lower his head. So I'm here like this, okay? We still got a nice technique from here. What I'm gonna do here is the leg closest to him is gonna step back. As it steps back, this hand here is gonna slide down the arm like so. Right here, okay? Let me uh, change the angle. So I end up like this, okay? And then from here, I'm gonna just pull this down and elbow. If you're fighting in an amateur event, you can throw a punch instead. So from this side, from this angle, he's totally upright. I can't lower it, okay? My inside foot's gonna step back. I'm gonna change stances. Right now I'm facing away from you, I'm gonna face toward you. And this hand's gonna slide down the arm and hold the wrist to the chest here. Now before I strike, I just give it a little pull down. Boom. Now what's gonna happen is that when you're here and you come here, when I'm pushing here, it's natural resistance to push back. And boom, it's gonna be like a car crash, okay? Now I'm showing the tight arm bar from the underhook but you can hit it from lots of other positions. I like to start the underhook for beginners because it's very basic, just reach for the head. But uh, you can also hit it from the clinch, okay? Joe has me in a, in a tight clinch, like this way, okay? What I do here is the shoulder roll, okay? I call it the, the shoulder roll, where I bend my knees and I roll my shoulder in, okay? Because right now, if I try to punch Joe, I can't. If I try to swim inside, I can't, okay? Because he's got this, this forearm with my collarbone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend my knees and roll my shoulder in, like so. Once my shoulder's in, I can elbow, boom, boom, to the, to, the, to the chin, okay? Now when I do that elbow, okay, when I, when I shoulder roll in, I get here, I lean my head back, okay, so that he can't knee me. If my head's low, he might still knee me. Remember, I am in a tight clinch, okay? So when I get this in, I lean back, and I pro make myself profile, okay? So it's harder for him to knee me. It's definitely almost impossible to knee me in the head, and this can come up to the jawline. If I can't hit the jaw because he's still tight to me, I'll hit him in the, in the solar plexus and then bring it up. Now the reason why I say to do the tight arm bar from here, because I love when I'm training and sparring, I love doing this. But in sparring training, you can't really elbow the guy in the jaw. But an alternative is to do the tight arm bar from here. So once I get to here, I can swim right into it from here. See? So from here, shoulder roll, and now nothing's stopping me from swimming the underhook to here. Grab the back of the head, step back, pull the head up. Bang. Now if you're a grappling purist and you have to grapple every time you do something, you can grab both hands in the elbow and break right here. Okay? Um, that brings up another point, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm throwing a lot of techniques. I'm just, I'm excited. I just sparred. I went seven rounds with these guys, right? So I'm feeling pumped, all right? So, if the guy grabs with one arm here, just one arm, like grappling style, okay? I can't make an underhook, because this is stopping me right in the collarbone, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna shoulder roll in, and now I can go straight into it from right there, okay? So what's happening is, 
when I shoulder roll in, it's no longer my collarbone. Nothing's stopping me from swinging my underhook and coming around to here. Pulling down, stepping out, bang. If you're a grappler and you like underhooks, you could just simply, when the guy has one collar tie in me, just one collar tie, and you hit like that, just shoulder rolling in will get you the, the underhook position to work your takedowns. Okay? So, for you guys on my Facebook that requested that tie clinch technique, I hope you're happy. I threw like three or four in there, okay? I threw what I call the tie armbar from the unhook position. I also showed you what I call the Nazi elbow, because Nazi from Tiger Muay Thai showed me that one, okay, the one you're coming backwards. I also show, remember when you're doing that backward elbow, make sure you lean your body back and stay profile, so you're protecting yourself. And then I also went over throwing the tie armbar from that position. And then I went over, if you can't bring him down from the tie armbar position, where you switch and grab and keep it chest level. So you can lower it and hit free shot, okay? And I did this all on Mr. Joe Ray, a superstar, all right? When's your next fight, man? Uh, October 9th. October 9th in Greece, correct? Yeah. Okay, Joe Ray, guys, on a tear. Uh, what's your record in kickboxing? Uh, 7-0 amateur, 4-1 pro. 4-1 in Thailand, correct? Yeah. Did five Thai fights, guys, a maniac, all right? Uh, so that's what, 4-1, uh, 7, 11, 11-1? 11-1 in his kickboxing career and MMA pro amateur. You did one amateur fight. One and zero amateur, four and zero pro. So four and zero is a pro, one and zero amateur, five and zero is a pro. You got like what, seventeen victories in combat, amateur and pro put together. Yeah. Seventeen and one record. Like the math, you see how I do the math? I get put one and zero, four and zero. I combine them all, right? Seventeen and one fight record, right? Got amateur and pro. And now he's gonna be fighting in Greece. Uh, Joe's a superstar, man. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more from him. And it's good to have him back. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to start posting videos again like I used to. Start putting them up, pumping them out every day. Uh, just hit me up on my Facebook fan page at marcosavalonfans.com. And whenever you want to see a certain kind of technique and stuff, just put it up there so I know you guys want to see it. And I'll put it out there. Submissions, takedowns, uh, ground pound pins, uh, tight clinch techniques, uh, elbow techniques, whatever it is you guys want to see, put it up there and uh, I'll put what I got. Thanks, everybody. Also, if you're in Miami, in Florida, or in Davie, anywhere in South Florida, we have, schools, uh, we have two gyms. Uh, hit us up at bestfreetrial.com, www.bestfreetrial.com. We have a 30 day free trial, nothing to send or buy. We also got a 60 day money back guarantee. And the Miami schools open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's actually 10 o'clock p.m. right now. We got a full class next door going on. We got classes going on from 6 in the morning to 1.45 in the morning. Got a boxing ring, show Mr. Tulio right there. Got a cage, we have a full size weight room next door. Let's take a sweet little sneak peek. This is at 10 o'clock at night. We got our uh, guys doing conditioning switch. up in here. Switch, 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 switch. Let's go. Switch, switch, switch. Right, Let's go. You got 45 seconds. Pop it up, pop right, it up. We got pop another it up. full size training room next door. It's a huge facility. We got uh, tires and stuff outside. Okay. Um, also, we got the bags and all that stuff. So come check us out. All right. You got nothing to sign or buy. Just come in. 30 days free. Try it. We'll give you a free uniform also, school shirt and stuff. And um, what else? One more thing I want to plug. Oh yeah, and if you're not from Miami and stuff, you like the stuff we're doing and you want to learn from us, we have an online curriculum that you can follow along. Our whole school follows an online curriculum. And if you want to tag along, it's www.ffacoach.com, okay? ffacoach.com. All right, everybody, hope you enjoyed the clip. Thanks a lot. If you like it, put a comment on there and bump it up. Pass it around links. Help me out, guys. Thank you very much. Peace.